there and welcome to Crafting Unedited. My name is Sierra and today we're going to try something new. <laughs> I was recently told that you can sublimate onto glass. I'm calling myth, but we're going to try it because why not? I have a, um, what did I do? This glass here very thin. It is from a um, picture frame nonetheless because it's the only piece of glass that I could find that would be good for a test. So and what I have done um, and you can see this in just a moment is I took polycrylic coating like the liquid stuff and I just painted it on it. I did one coat. Um, I'm not I don't think this is going to work, but we're going to try it anyway. So I just used a paintbrush and I went over it very lightly uh, with the polycrylic stuff. And um, there's a few concerns. I'm concerned that it's going to peel up like it did on the ceramic tiles that I did. Because that's, it's glass. It doesn't have anything to like stick to. <laughs> and two... You can see there's like bubbles and other stuff that kind of got stuck in it. But anyways, first I'm going to show you how I, what I used and how I did it to coat it. Then we're going to hop back on here and I'm going to press it and see what the heck happens with this. It's probably going to be catastrophe. A few things that can happen. The glass can shatter or break on my press, which would be very bad. Um, not terrible, like, because it can be cleaned up, but it could be very bad. The other thing that can happen is the paper is going to stick to it and the polyacrylic stuff is just going to peel right off, which is what I'm thinking is going to happen. Or three, it's going to work, but it's not going to transfer all the way or it's going to look really wonky. I don't know. We're going to find out. See you in a jiffy. Alrighty, so what I've done is I have my heat press here set to, it's still heating up, but it's going to be at 385 for 60 seconds. Again, pretty nervous because that's pretty high heat for such a thin piece of um, glass, but we're going to do this thing. Um, and then I have my glass. I don't break it before it's time. And I have my transfer and some tape, though I don't think I'm gonna need it. And butcher paper. Now, a couple of things. 
385 for 60 seconds, you want to make sure that you test your pressure on the heat press first. This should be like common sensory, but who knows? Um, so what I did was I pressed it down and you see how easy that is? That's about the only amount of pressure that you need for this. Sublimation does not need pressure, it needs even heat. So it doesn't really matter if there's like barely any pressure at all. I don't wanna put too much pressure on it anyways because it is glass. And again, I worry of breakage. I am not the most graceful with broken glass. So we're gonna see how this thing goes. All right, so we're at 385, it's at 60 seconds. I don't even need the tape because it's like sticky anyway. <laughs> so, well, maybe I do need the tape. Just kidding. We're gonna tape it. Do, do, do. I do like the idea of doing this because that's gonna look so freaking cool. If it works. And if it works, sorry, every time I get off the camera and come back on, or I put something white on the camera, it makes me look terrifying. But anyways, so if this does work, this is going to change my glass block game, y'all. I've got a customer that really, 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 really loves the glass blocks. She's come back many of times for those. So if this works and I can get my heat press to lift <laughs> that high, for me to put a glass block underneath it. It's gonna be amazing, but we gonna find out. All right, so let's do the thing. Even though I'm nervous, ugh. Nervous, can you melt glass? It's probably a really dumb question, but somebody answer that for me. It's probably a super duper ridiculous high heat that you melt glass at. But, if you can, I mean, glass is just melted sand, right? <laughs> I don't know. Go in. Okay. All righty, guys. Here goes nothing. Okay, 60 seconds. Fingers crossed, because like I said, if this works... It's sizzling. <laughs> I don't like that. I should probably keep my face away from there in case it decides to go. I think that sizzling noise might be the polycrylic. I don't know. I don't like it, but we're going to find out. So this is what happens, y'all, when you try to sublimate onto glass. I know that you can use... um. HTV on it, but HTV is a lot less time and a little bit less heat. So we're going to find out. We got 15 seconds left here. So yeah, my tired game is strong, y'all. You see these bags? This is ridiculous. This is unnecessary. This whole like shift. I don't know what's going on. I'm just really tired. All right. I didn't hear any cracking, so... That's a plus, right? <laughs> it didn't go, it just went sss. Turning very slowly. Pull this out. Yeah, see, I knew that was going to happen. The polycrylic stuff. Like, I can't touch it because it's going to be stupidly hot. I need my tweezers. Try to use these. See the polycrylic stuff? I'll show you guys in a second. I mean, kind of. It's on there, kind of. It's just like the stuff is stuck. Get off.
the paper is just stuck. Which I seemed would happen. This is a bust, guys. I mean, it kind of transferred, but in some areas it didn't. And it's peeling off. Yeah. Kind of. It's very sticky, too. I'm going to show you the, what's left of the transfer so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm trying very hard not to burn myself. Okay, whatever. This is a bust. There's got to be a way that you can sublimate onto glass without using the polycrylic stuff. But, so this is what happened. You can see here, the polycrylic is on the paper, on the transfer itself, not on the, I'm trying to show you, it's hot, very hot. <laughs> Turn this around so I don't melt my trash can. I touched it and it's hot. Duh, see, it's hot. It was just under 390 degrees. I'm trying to show you the other side of it. See? Kind of worked. Kind of looks cool, though. But I feel like once I clean it off, if I use, like, water, like I normally do, to get the extra transfer off, it's just going to wash right off but we'll see again it's very sticky very hot it's very hard to remove this transfer yeah i might have to use some water for the rest of it just trying to get it off as much as i possibly can to show you and I'll put in the description um, whether or not water removes it all the way. Like the ink, the whole transfer, not just the paper. Yeah, see that part? You can see where it's darker, where the polycrylic is stuck to it. And you can see here, where I just peeled that, the S totally peeled off right there. Hmm. Intriguing. So, kind of worked, kind of busted. I'll just go get a sheet of paper. Okay, there we go. You can see here kind of worked. Not a total failure. I mean, it kind of does look cool, except for in the areas where it peeled, the polycrylic peeled and stuck to the transfer. So I'm intrigued. I want to learn more and I'm sure you do too now. So there has to be a way to get it to work and not peel like it did. So I'm thinking that I'm going to clean this completely off and redo it. And what we're gonna do next time, I'll tell you if it works in the comments. Um, what I'm gonna do next time is instead of peeling it like I did, I'm gonna let it sit. I'm gonna let it cool down completely because if I do this with glass, it's gonna shatter everywhere. So I'm gonna let it sit, let it cool down completely. Then I'm going to spray it down with some water or even run it under some water, then I will peel off my um, transfer. I think that will be a much more successful route than um, using the polyacrylic, putting the transfer on, 
and then peeling it off like I did because maybe, just maybe, the water will help release um, those bubbles because you can clearly see it's not hot anymore. You can clearly see right here um, there were bubbles, like air bubbles, and I think that's where the sizzling came into play and that's what peeled off. So if I, instead of peeling those pieces off, if I just spray them down with water, they'll separate and they'll remain on the glass. I'll let you know if that works. So this method, not a total fail, but not a success. New method is going to be instead of, you know, peeling off right away, I'm gonna let it cool, run it underwater, then peel it off, see how that goes. Then I'll drop a um, description and comment if it works. Um, if it does not work, I'll, I'll let you know that too. <laughs> also, I'll let you know how the heck I'm gonna get that off of there in the comments. Some rubbing alcohol should remove it, hopefully. <laughs> Until next time. Thanks for watching and thanks for learning with me. We'll see you later.